Well, all righty, scavengers. Thank y'all for joining me on uh, Arts and Crafts and Wood Shop Hour. Uh, got my little wood laid out here. These table eggs that we found in the uh, the dumpster a few weeks back. We're going to just go ahead and get all this paint off. Uh, yes, you might be wondering, Mike, you have a wood laid. You're must, 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 you know, must be a uh, awesome craftsman. Uh, actually, not really. Uh, I can make one table leg that looks awesome. But the thing with table legs is you got to have at least four. Four table legs make a table. So I can make a really cool table leg, but I can't make one look just like it that being said i can make really cool candlesticks anyways but here we are uh we're gonna go ahead and uh what what the lathe i've actually found out is really good for if anybody who's ever done like stripping of furniture they know that when it comes to spindles table legs they're a pain in the butt because it's not an up and down motion you know everything's turned uh i have found out that this little lathe right here is perfect for stripping this paint off of this stuff so what we're gonna do for y'all, we're gonna build a little console table, mostly made it from uh, scrap wood and stuff. And uh, you know, just try to enjoy our social distancing. <sighs> Let's get it. All right, yeah, look at that. Cleaned up legs, all ready to go. Throw some primer and paint, baby. Let's get it. Ow!
Alrighty, y'all. There she is. That's just the uh, the rough the ruffians of it. We're gonna sand her down, make it nice and smooth, look real rustic-y, and then uh, we'll work on that apron kit, and get her all put together and buttoned up. Well, alrighty, scavengers. It is time to put together our uh, our table apron kit. And the table apron kit is the uh, the little dealio that goes around like with the uh, the legs. You know, get your legs here. Basically, to me, it, it makes it pretty. It uh, stabilizes it very well. And, uh, you know, it makes it look beefier, too. But, uh, so how we're going to do the joinery on this is uh, very pretty common today. It's called uh, pocket holes. These will go into the legs. And then these holes that we have here on the back side going up, those are the ones that will go actually at the bottom of the table. And then these two right here, those are the ones that are going to go into the sides of the legs. All right, well, let's go ahead and start putting this apron kit together and see what this table is going to look like completely assembled. Right there. So we're gonna go ahead and tack on this, uh, the little trim piece down here for the bottom. We'll add a little decorative touch to it. I like to always put my own little touch on it. Makes it look nice, I think. All right. Alrighty, there she is, y'all. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, that looks looks pretty good. We got her sanded down. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much ready to be handed off to the missus. She does the uh, the paint and the stain, and uh, so that's going to be part two of the video. It's going to be on her channel. Uh, if y'all to check it out, it's called Rockin' Timber. R O C K I N T I M B E R. I'll put a little link down below. Uh, and then uh, y'all can see her like paint this thing and get it stained to make it look pretty But uh, alrighty guys. Well, thanks for joining me on woodworking hour with Mike the scavenger It's been totally interesting and totally awesome all in the same uh, Yeah, I hope you are doing okay out there. Take care. Uh, we'll see what we got upcoming next Thinking about maybe trying to get out there on the curbside pick up some furniture projects. So we'll see what we got here y'all Scrappy scrap scrap. Oh!